uh, Old Testament prophets. We are, uh, we've been looking at some of the introductory materials. Some of the things are overlapping in the notes uh, that we discussed uh, in our historical books. For example, the division of the Old Testament, uh, Hebrew um, uh, canon, the Hebrew Old Testament arrangement, like uh, the law of prophets and writings, like Torah, and Nevim and Kethuvim, and what are the books? Those, you know, this is as part of the notes, you have these things, um, distinction between major and minor prophets. Um, how do you distinguish major and minor prophets? Uh, suppression of the major prophets and the minor prophets in, in English translations follows Latin Vulgate, right? Why do we have like Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and all the major prophets first and the minor prophets? It's simply because um, it is followed from Vulgate and from Septuagint. The ordering of the various prophets within these two categories reflect largely the order found in the Hebrew Bible. Uh, and apparently also looking at the length of the writings, um, the, you know, how, how the Hebrew Bible is arranged, the uh, books, just like that. Uh, our English Bible also, uh, some of them follow the same order, right? And so, uh, for example, if you look at in our English Bible, uh, you have... 12 historical books and 17 prophetical books. Uh, 12 historical books, uh, Joshua, Judges, Sam, Ruth, Samuel, 1st and 2nd, Kings, 1st and 2nd, Chronicles, 1st and 2nd, and Israel, and is there. Those are the history. Then prophetic books you have considered the major prophets like um, according to the order, if you look at, this is how you see Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentation, Ezekiel, Daniel, this fast, uh, this five are known as major. Of course, we already looked at Lamentations, part of poetic books, but in our English Bible, it is considered to be major prophets, even book of Daniel. Then minor, beginning from Hosea, then Joel, Amos, Abadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Nehem, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, and Zechariah, Malachi. So this is the format that you see in your English Bible of the Old Testament. Now, uh, how do we approach classifying the prophets? How do we look at the prophets? Uh, it's, a, it's a question to be uh, answered. So uh, various approaches to classifying the prophets. Uh, according to the recipients of the message, right? According to the recipients of the message, you can um, divide into this way. For example, yes, uh, if you look at prophetical books are written to uh, six categories of people, all right? Six categories. What are those? Number one, Obadiah, that to Adam, Edom. Right, the, uh, the book of Abadai is written to Edom, book, you know, to book of, like book of Jonah and Nahum returned to Nineveh, and book of Hosea and Amos returned to Israel, that is the north, northern kingdom. And to Judah, you have a good number of people writing Joel, Isaiah, Micah, Zephaniah, Jeremiah, Habakkuk, they're all written to Judah. Then to the exiles, those who are in the exile, Daniel and Ezekiel. To the returnees, those who came back from exile, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. So that's a way, if you uh, want to know how this book is, you know, uh, maybe classified, how this is classified according to the recipients. Now, if you look at chronology, like timing, Right. If you look at the timing, then you will see pre-exilic, exilic, and post-exilic. What are the pre-exilic prophets? Like before Babylonian invasion, invasion, you have Obadiah, Joel, Jonah, Hosea, Amos, Isaiah, Micah, Nahum. These are all, uh, and and Zephaniah, Jeremiah, Habakkuk, even Habakkuk. They're all pre-exilic. Then exilic Daniel and Ezekiel, post-exilic 
Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. So that is what according to the chronological period, if you look at the prophetical books. Now, you wanted to, yeah, you want to know according to the periods of Gentile kingdoms. We want to know according to the kingdoms, uh, during which kingdom which is written, then you have the first kingdom, Assyrian, second is Babylonian kingdom, third is Persian. So Assyrian kingdom, you have Obadiah, Joel, Jonah, Hosea, Amos, Isaiah, Micah, Nahum. They're all written during the first kingdom of known as Assyria. And Babylonian period, Sephaniah, Jeremiah, Habakkuk, Daniel, and Ezekiel written. And Persian period, you have Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. So that's what how you look at the kingdoms. If you want to divide the books in that way. Now, if you want to look at the date, then it is according to the date, if you wanted to look at. Uh, this is the approximate date, not exact, like exact date, don't think that way. We don't have the exact date, but approximate. Like Obadiah was the first one, first two prophetical books written like 845 BC, that is ninth century. Then Joel, Jonah, Amos, Uzziah, Isaiah, right? BC, so right, seventh century Isaiah comes, Micah, Nahum, Zephaniah, Jeremiah, Habakkuk, Daniel, look at that one, Ezekiel, and Haggai, Malachi, Zechariah, Malachi. Malachi is the last one who wrote, right, the post exile. So that's how, how you look at, according to the date, how this is arranged. Um, and now I want uh, us to go to chronological charge, chronological charge. Now, uh, following charts are taken, uh, right? A uh, chart of the kings and prophets. Who are the who are the kings when these prophets spoke or wrote? So, all what you see, these are. Jeroboam, Basha, Omri, Tibni, Ahab, Joram, these are all kings, right? So I say, I say, these are all northern, like Israel's king. Here you have Judah, Judean king, right? This one, um, yes. This, this is Judean king, uh, no, Israel king. And all these are evil prof, evil kings, shaded evil kings that why they are good kings good kings like without shame and these are all prophets like what do you see here El elijah elisha they are prophets so and non canonical they are and so you can you can read all the information is given here on the left side so you have first three kings saul david solomon Undivided kingdom. Okay. Then kingdom is divided. NK that is northern kingdom. And SK that is southern kingdom. How that is divided. And how which is the first. Northern king. Jeroboam. Then Rehoboam. And it goes. So these are all. Uh, all the kings. And which prophet. Ray, uh, pro, uh, prophesied. It is there. Like, remember, Elijah comes, time of Ahab. Elisha comes later. And if you look at that, then in Jude, this is Israel, northern kingdom. But in southern kingdom, you have Shemaiah, Azariah, Hanani, uh, Jehaziel, and Obadiah comes right here. Obadiah and Joel uh, prophesied during... Athaliah and Josiah. So if they are canonical prophets, if they have written the books, their names are like that, you know, uh, you will see it is that way. Uh, with the board marks, you can look at. So please go to this chart. I thought this chart, chart was very beautiful pictures, the Jewish history. How is canonical book represented, Pastor? Yes, canonical books, like books that we have in our hands, 
there are other for example elijah was a prophet but he has not written a book that we have in our hand right so it's not part of canon but still they are prophets so their names are given there canonical prophets are like obadiah joel um jonah amos uh hosea isaiah okay. micah nahum they're all canonical prophets how is it represented in this chart how is it shown in this chart that this yes oh is... canonical prophets yes yes so in the chart canonical prophets are look at with the, with the dash like that like this oh, okay with a dotted like okay, that. Okay, yeah. okay okay that's canonical prophets okay others okay. are non canonical prophets okay okay thank you mr Right. So that's how it is. So please, uh, it's a wonderful uh, one. I really liked it, and that's the reason it's given there. Complete history and and each like ten year gap. You see, seven hundred sixty nine. That is the timeline we are using uh, and trying to give approximate date for everything of Jewish history. Yeah, then I have some of the list here about the kings of Assyria. <laughs> like, remember Assyrians invaded in 931, uh, like, um, you know, like uh, Tiglath Pileasher, you, you might remember the name, Sennacherib, remember that's uh, also a uh, name that is, and Shalmaneser. Uh, fifth, Shalmaneser fourth, Shalmaneser second, like first. Second. These are very like Assyrian kings, and the kings of Assyria. The uh, date is given, and the timing of like fall of Nineveh, fall of Haran, fall of Carchemish. Times are given there. Like in any case, we wanted to have some kind of reference to the history. So this is kings. So you have kings of Assyria beginning from. 14th century till 5th century, it is given. Then kings of Syria, right? Uh, also important uh, that you can look at, uh, maybe because Isaiah's prophecy is connected to Racine, who is the kings of Syria. So maybe if you wanted to look at that, kings of Neo, Babylonia, that is Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, Amal Murdoch, uh, even the, some uh, where Bible mentions the references are given there, right? Here also references are given for you to look at. You see, which king one uh, for and Belshazzar is not included, so I have added that one. Uh, for example, Daniel 5, you see Belshazzar here. It's a day for Belshazzar, so you can king of Babylonia. It's also something you can look at. Now, then Persian period, right after Babylon, so Assyria, Syria also was there, but Assyria was the major kingdom. Then Babylon was the kingdom, then following Persian, right? Then, so you, what, after Babylon, you have Persia. So Cyrus is the first one. Uh, you, you see uh, return of Zerubbabel and Je uh, Jeshua, and Ezra. Then we have Cambyses, Darius I, Seraxis, Ataxeresis, and Darius II, right? Uh, so you have Cambyses time, uh, Jerusalem rebuilding stopped. Darius, you have Haggai and Zechariah prophesy. Temple building is completed this time, right? And we see same time Greeks defeat Persians at Marathon. It's a historical event. And then you have Seraxis, the story of Esther takes place. Then Attack Seraxis, return of Ezra, return of Nehemiah, and prophecy of Malachi takes place at the time of Attack Seraxis, right? Attack Seraxis. So uh, this is the golden age uh, known at, at this time, uh, right? So that is something. Then, then you have the biblical silence, right? Persian time. That is Darius, Taxerus II, Thrill III, Arsus, Darius III, Alexander, Alexander, right? So they, these are all part of Persian. And you have uh, uh, Athens and Sparta. You might have studied in school. 
Socrates and Plato, Aristotle, the great Philip of Macedon, and defeats Greek at um, Cairo, near another one, and Alexander the Great overthrows Persian Empire right here, right? Um, in a day, his third was defeated, and Alexander becomes a king. Establishment of Greek Empire begins. Of course, there is something missed. That is Smerdis in 522. Another, he was also a part of Persian Empire, well, a king. All right. So uh, this is another chart for the Persia. Then divided kingdom. Uh, you have uh, a divided kingdom. How the kingdom was divided. Well, look at that. Here is Judah. They did the southern kingdom, right? Judah. And then the rest is the northern kingdom known as known as um, Israel, right? So, so the, what is, you see south is southern, southern kingdom. And you have all the, all the areas that are covered. If you, if, if you look at it, you can see explanations are given there, which is, you may not get this charge easily. So that's the reason I just put up this one here. Then you can look at uh, Judah and, and Edom you have here. Egypt is here, Moab here, Ammon here. So the moment you wanted to know uh, like uh, when kingdom was divided, uh, how, who are ruling, yeah, it just um, it just gives an explanation like, you know, all the tribe where their locations were. So, yes. So those are the charts for us to know before we delve into the first prophet, and that is Obadiah. I, I will send you the rest of the notes this week itself.